What's going on? Hey, you know, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, man. Bringing you back to uh, top 10 rap and R&B albums list. Um, y'all show 2001 a lot of love. Y'all show 2002 a lot of love. So today you'll get 2003. Um, make sure before you, uh, before we get into this, I just want to get this out the way. Go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Be a part of the E unit if you're new. Without further ado, man, let's get right into this. But before I before I dive all the way in, I gotta get this one footnote out the way. I forgot yet again. I forgot to put an album in my honorable mentions that should have been in it for 2002. So here you go. Southern Hummingbird by Tweet deserves its flowers. Especially for Oops Oh My with Missy Elliott and Timberland. And um and how awesome of a hit Call Me was with that sitar, man. Like Timbo on the ones and twos is undefeated. But yeah, that's an honorable mention that didn't make top five R and B albums for the last video. But yeah, man. Low key I kinda felt like, you know, it was trying to fill the void that Aaliyah left because this this was like in the wake of Aaliyah's death they started working on this. They, I mean, Missy and Timbo. But yeah, man. Y'all get it. Y'all get it. Anyways, same criteria as always. Um, <laughs> same exceptions. So let's dive right in, man. Number 10. We got Genuine the Senior. I enjoyed this album a whole bunch. Especially, especially because... Of of the amazing hit that was in those jeans, man. It's just, bro, the ultimate Riz track. If you had to have a playlist for that, in those jeans, got to be in there, bro. But yeah, man, I just like how just smooth everything sounded on this album. Like the production was just masterful. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, apart from that, you have hell yeah. I mean. With or without Birdman, Genuine himself just bombs this track. You know what I'm saying? In a good way. In a good way. But yeah, man. Uh, this also has Stingy on it. That's one of my favorite. Um, this is one of my favorite joints ever, too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, give Genuine his flowers, man. You know what I'm saying? He did. He did. He deserves flowers. He definitely. He's definitely considered. You know what I'm saying? On the borderline of being an R&B goat. You know what I'm saying? Elgin Baylor Lumpkin. This is his real name, but anyway. Number nine, we got Joe Budden's first album. Now, I put this in there as a personal pick. You know what I'm saying? It may not have done all, done all that number-wise because Pump It Up does really carry this album a lot, but a lot of the stuff in between, I definitely enjoy it. Fire with him and Busta Rhymes. Y'all know, y'all might recognize that as the partying track from Mean Girls when they were all partying at Katie Heron's house. You know what I'm saying? And um, that that track is fire. Pop Off is fire. Uh, Focus, you know what I'm saying? Sing the track now. Pause. Stop playing, man. Bring it back now. Fire. And, uh, but all of those pale in comparison to one song. Come and take a walk with me. I need for all of y'all to come and take a walk with me. I need for all of y'all to feel what I'm going through and see what I see if you got time to take a walk with me. Wait a minute now. But yeah, man. Joe Bunn's pen game was immaculate from start to finish. That's why I, I think this album deserves a nod. But yeah, man. Coming in at number eight. Ashanti's chapter two. This bad boy is the perfect way to go back to back. Because Ashanti didn't miss with her first album and she didn't miss on chapter two, man. <laughs> Especially with that. Rain on me. I want you to take this pain from me. Oh, such a deep cut in the story it tells. I also love the video, too, man. It almost made me want to jump through the screen to save Ashanti myself. But yeah, man. There's also enjoyable songs on her, too, like. Uh, I mean, the obvious, oh baby, would you ride for me, oh baby, but without a doubt, my favorite song on this is I Know, 
because like it's very motivational and it gets me pumped i know it gets hard for us sometimes but i know we can make it through this life and i know it gets harder every day but anyway y'all uh y'all might recognize that when you watch johnson family vacation and it's the scene where solange's character is getting ready for the road trip that song is playing in the background while she's on the phone. But yeah, fun fact for y'all. But yeah, Shanti, you deserve your flowers, baby girl. You deserve your flowers. I'm going to do it again just because it's Ashanti. Yeah! Anyway, coming in at number seven. We got Ludacris Chicken and Beer. I could not, I can't leave Ludacris off these lists to save my life. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. For real though, you, you got to give it up to Luda, man. He went on a mad run, bro. He went on a mad run, especially with this one. This one has Splash Waterfalls, bro. Splash Waterfalls. Come on, man. Do you, you, you don't act like you don't remember how cold that beat sounded when that... That opening and then when the beat dropped that... And then shorting your back tan. Make love to me. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, y'all y'all get it, y'all get it. It's just it's just it's just I'm telling you, not only the production, but Ludacris's lyrics are also unmatched. But we all know the best song on here is Stand Up When I Move You Move. Just like that. When I move you move. Just like that. This right here, man. This album, man, brought me really back to my childhood because I used to dance to uh stand up. You know what I mean? Real hardcore, man. But yeah, man. Shout out Luda. Y'all already know how I feel about Luda, man. I don't need to waste my breath. Coming in at number six. The Diary of Alicia Keys. Now, if you were to ask me what's the greatest album Alicia Keys ever put out, this would be my answer. It wouldn't even be songs in A minor, but it would be this one. It's because the whole album is a fun ride. You know what I'm saying? It's a... It's, it's it carries a story you know what i'm saying it carries a story throughout this whole entire album you know what i mean like everything from i won't tell your secrets fire tony 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 with the background vocals was killing it here too i want to say i don't think my boo appears on this album sadly if i'm not mistaken so I can't really say that. And this does count as a 2003 album because the release date is December 2nd, 2003. So, yeah, this is a 03 album, man. Uh, I want to say You Don't Know My Name is is a, another example of her amazing storytelling. Like, I especially like the video when it's her and most deaf, you know what I'm saying, playing the characters in her story. And I also love the sampling with the background voice. That... Doo -doo -doo, ow, doo -doo. And then the... And then, like the breakdown, that 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 slow string breakdown while she's on the phone talking to her lovers, that 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 that, that downbeat killer. And but that's not even my favorite song on this album. My favorite song on this album is Karma. What goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. Now who's crying, desiring to come back to me? I feel like. That is the most disrespected single, I believe, kids. Because when everybody talks about Alicia Keys' best work, best singles, um, well, Fallen always comes on, and uh, If I Ain't Got You, which is another classic from this album, comes on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no one always gets mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, I mean, people even will mention uh, Unbreakable. Which comes from one of her unplugged albums. You know what I'm saying? But hardly anybody will mention Karma. You know what I'm saying? Karma goes crazy. I even love her drip in the video and all the different hairstyles and her playing piano in the middle of the Coliseum. Chef's kiss. But yeah. If I ain't got you is also very uh is also very classic in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 I it's if I ain't got you, man. Anyway, coming to number five, this is the third best rap album on this list. 
Some of y'all might be shocked, but some of y'all are not. It's speaker box the love below. I gotta give Outcast his flowers again. Cause this was like the perfect curtain call to their amazing um how would I put it? Because when did when did their first album come out? Let me look it up. When did their first album come out? This cause this is like a great curtain call. Cause I'm not counting the Our Wild album, because that is a movie soundtrack primarily. That's not a part listed as part of the studio album. So this was the perfect Clark curtain call to their nine year run. You know what I'm saying? With hits after hits from ghetto music to to to, to Roses. I know you like to thank y'all. Don't stank. You know what I'm saying? And ghetto music is the most underrated single out of all the singles. G A T T M O M U S I C S I C K. Stay down. If you know from playing NBA Live 2004, you know. Um, then like, do we even have to talk about Hey Ya? It's Hey Ya. Everybody around the world, regardless of race, knows that song, Hey Ya. And then um. I like the way you move, bro. If you need a if you need a great party joint, that's that's the that's the one you play from this album, right? That right there. And then uh, shoot, what else came from this iconic album? What else came from this iconic album? I'm trying to think. Did uh oh yeah, there was this one collaboration track. I forgot the title of it, but it was Big Boy, Killer Mike, and Jay Z. I thought that was fire too. You know what I'm saying? Cause Killer Mike and Big Boy's verses were killer. And let me just let me just say something. Let me just say something, man. Let me just say something. Y'all put some respect on Big Boy's name. Cause all of you outcast fans, y'all love to ride Andre's tip. But you treat Big Boy as if he's close to obsolete. Big Boy was just as important to this group as Andre was. Okay? So let's give Andre, uh, let's give Andre his flowers, but we're going to give Big Boy just as much, all right? Respect the name of Antoine Big Boy Patton, you heard me? But yeah, enough of my, enough of my ranting, man, enough of my ranting. Oh yeah, and um, I want to say, I want to say, uh, Prototype is another great song on the, on that album too, but we're gonna move on to number four, which is this is the second best R and B album on the list. Who Beyonce stands? The Beehive is gonna draw their swords and guns at me. Oh, the Beehive is gonna hate this. <laughs> Close, but not close enough. Mm, close, but not close enough. <laughs> look, look, look. I like this album as just as much as the next person. Especially, uh, especially when you consider that you know that you couldn't hardly escape Beyonce around the, this time period, especially with that overplay "Crazy in Love" joint. Ugh. And I'm like, so we just gonna pretend that there are not other singles on this album that, and other stuff on this album that deserves appreciation. Like, Me, Myself, and I is one of the coldest breakup tracks ever. And, uh, what else is on here? Naughty Girl is pretty, is pretty dope to dance to. Baby Boy with her and Sean Paul is on this one. And that's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Especially with that sitar and that thing, 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 that man. Uh, let me think. What else is on here? Signs with that, that that dope baseline that. Doom, doom. Even though I don't like the song, the, the 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 concept of the lyrics, I just love the production of it and how her voice sounds with the music. Impeccable, and and then like, be with you. Especially that, and then you know her just you know pretty much taking Bootsy Collins's hook and just spinning it her own way. 
she nailed that. I'll give her that. I'll give her that. You know what I'm saying? But the other filler, it just didn't hit as hard as the filler in my in my number one choice for R and B, which will be at number two for this video. It, the filler just didn't hit as hard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I apologize, B fans, if anybody's offended, but I gotta give I gotta give credit where it's due. Your girl B, it was close. Look, I wanted to put this album in number one, but something prevented me. Okay, but we'll get to that. Number three, the second best rap album, and this is very ironic. This is very very ironic. Is Jay Z's The Black Album? Give me how? How? How, Sway? Scoiler Montgomery. Right now, we don't care. Let me the irony. The wife's album ended up second place, and so did the husband's. <laughs> but now, nah, I figured I'd just, you know, let y'all breathe a bit. Considering I slandered your, your, uh, your, your boy's name in the last video but this is definitely a great way to recover and if he would have stayed retired this would have been the perfect uh, album for him to retire on like if Jay-Z would have stayed retired I wouldn't have been mad at him you know what I'm saying cuz this is a classic man even though like like his wife did with A. Marie Jay-Z was up to his old antics of stealing lines from other guys like Nas and Biggie and uh he, he stole an ice tea hole track on here. 99 Problems. You know what I'm saying? Even though he wrote his own lyrics and made his own beats away, he still took the title. But at least he paid, I think he paid Ice-T for it. At least, at least he talked to him about it. The other people, he don't even talk to them. He just, he just pays whoever owns they publishing and just gets on with it. But yeah. But this whole album is a wild ride from start to finish. I do admit though, with Kisa from being better than The Blueprint, that there is, there is like maybe two to three skips on here. But other than that, like, you know, the singles on here carry this album. Like, Dirt Off Your Shoulder is my favorite song on this album. You know what I'm saying? It's classic. Change Clothes is a underrated club banger, in my opinion. Especially with that downbeat that. Public service announcement is iconic because if you grew up playing 2K13 like me, you couldn't escape that song. Um, and like I said about 99 Problems, cold verses, but the concept is stolen. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, what else? What else is on here? I do like Threat. I really, really like December 4th. And I really, really like What More Can I Say? Like, the way this album started and then how it ended with Allure and my first song. Perfect curtain call. But yeah, man. Black Album definitely deserves its credit, but it pales in comparison to the number one album. But anyway, before I get to the best R&B and rap albums, I'm going to go through these honorable mentions real fast. Khalees is Tasty. This album may have not have blown up until the next year because it was released in December of the year, but Milkshake alone carries this album. And uh, I think that song about her wanting to be a millionaire uh, was also on this album. But yeah, solid product. Can't be mad at it. Her milkshake definitely bring the boy, brought, brought the boys to the yard. <laughs> All right, we have Hard by Jagged Edge. A uh, very authentic album. You know what I'm saying? Give Jagged Edge the nod. But like, I felt like it was missing something. My favorite song from this album is... Feels like I just walk right out of heaven. Feels like I done thin to throw my life away. Hey, I'm scared just like a child lost at seven. I don't know what to do, but to get back right with you. That's the most fire song they ever put out. I don't care. Joe's and then uh, you got to give Joe his flowers too, man. Y'all need to brush up on y'all, Joe. You know what I'm saying? He definitely put it down in the late 90s and early 2000s, man. My favorite track off of this one. I just want to rock with you, rock with you. I want to groove with you, move with you. I swear, it's like Joe had, like, despite not being from New York, it's like he had a close friendship with 50 Cent in the G-Unit. 
We got Latif Love in the first, only because of one song. Girl, I fear that I'll be cheating you if I can't see you to see you. And you're looking to get serious, and I am just so curious. Rather keep it real and tell you how I feel. As I think you're beautiful, and I don't want to hurt you, no. Trust me, girl. I never want to hurt you. You can't admit that that wasn't no classic. Come on, man. Anthony Helms ain't coming where I'm coming from. Man, this, I mean, if I were to make a top 10 for R&B, this would be, this would be six for R&B, man, for this year, man, because Anthony Hamilton brought it, like, he came out the gate swinging with this one, especially with Charlene, mm, that's Charlene, man, very dope storytelling. And then we have the r and R&B collection, volume one, and I only considered this because not only does this have past stuff, but it has, like, you know, at the time would be his current hits like Thoya Thoing. You know what I'm saying? And one of my favorite R. Kelly songs debuted on his album too. Touch the dream. You were here with me last night. I touched the dream. Anyway, uh, Monica after the storm. You only get this because of one song. <laughs> Boo, make me feel. Some you come on, man. Well, when I love, I love you, baby. That's the only reason why you get this album. You know I mean, for the rap, we got Bow Wow Unleashed. You know what I'm saying? It's an enjoyable bop from start to finish, man. This is another one of them albums that me and my sister were allowed to buy, and I wasn't disappointed at all. I'm kind of surprised that it went gold because Let's Get Down was pretty popping. It's really, really nice to meet you, man. I'm really, really digging your style. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Birdman's ad-libs was a little bit much. But other than that, great song. But we all know the best track on here is My Baby with Jagged Edge. Especially how in the middle of the beat, that little voice goes, ah You know what I'm saying? Girl, I understand you're loyal to your man and that's alright. Come on, man. You can't act like Bow Wow wasn't heat, man. This is heat. This album is heat. We got Philadelphia Freeway. You know what I'm saying? This album is a bop too, but like, you know, I feel like some of the filler I could have done without, but, um, uh, you know, what we do is still a very classic joint because of, uh, Beanie Siegel and Jay-Z guest appearing on it, but Freeway didn't do too bad himself either. You know what I'm saying? And the sample, you know what we do is wrong, uh-huh. but the best track on here is flip side. You know what I'm saying? We rip crowds, whole lot of volume with a little bit of bass. It's all it takes to make the skate flip side. Rip bows and a little bit of chase. It's all to make them make the rock get wild. Park cheese and a little bit of cheese. It's all it takes to make her leave. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Pity Crack for a guest verse on here. And then we got He's Keith Murray. Very, uh, very well put together project. You know what I'm saying? Because I, like I said, I do value the lyrics. Like, yeah, yeah, you know it carries this album very good. But my favorite track on here is, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just how he shares it up. Because he said, because I ain't lost a battle since God knows when. You know what I'm saying? He he, he comes off real confident. And I like confidence in rappers. You know what I mean? Um, we got a DMX Grand Champ. It's kind of the same thing with the Great Depression. Like, it's missing some things his first three albums had. You know what I'm saying? But I still like where the hood at. You know what I'm saying? And... I think, is Get It On The Floor on this album? Or are we in here? One of those two is on this album, but I definitely got to give the nod to the late, great DMX. R.I.P. to him, man. He, he definitely, he still had that energy, that charisma. It just like, you know, it didn't hit as hard as his first three albums. You know what I'm saying? Then we got La Bella Mafia. This this album is literally carried by its two singles. Um, the Jump Off with Mr. Cheese. That and my favorite, I got the magic stick. I know if I can hit once, I can hit twice. I hit the baddest chicks. Shorty, if you don't believe me, then come me at night and I'll show the magic. What? What? Magic. I like when 50 says, I rock that boat. I work the middle. I ski it up. I straight beat it up. <laughs> And then, like, Lil' Kim, she said, my head game have you head over heels. I'm like, damn, okay. You know what I'm saying? She said, a couple of humps, give a nigga the chumps. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, man, have a nigga want to rife me and give me the win, I'd do it anywhere, anyhow, I'm down for anything. Lil' Kim, if, if you didn't get all that plastic surgery, man. Dang! Anyway, um, speaking of uh, 50 Cent GM, we got them in this Beg for Mercy album. Um, I did want to put this in the top five, but I couldn't do it. Not because this album is bad, but you know what? <sighs> I'll explain why, but before I explain why, y'all know the best joints on here is Stunt 101. I teach y'all to stunt, my wrist ain't locked them, pop up in the Maybach bands, I teach y'all to, but what made you not want to be a G unit member after seeing these guys, man? Dude, I want to get to know you with them, and Joe is on this album, and it's fire, bro, it's fire, man. Bruh, this this album start to finish is a wild ride, dude. It's a wild ride, man. I love this album. But I just couldn't put it in the top five, man. The same reason I couldn't put... It's for the same reason I couldn't put this one in here. But I'll get to that. Because number two, the best R&B album of 2003 is R. Kelly's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> now, the reason why this beat out Dangerously in Love for me is because... The first 10 tracks. You can't skip them. <laughs> you can't skip them. Especially. Been around the world. Wearing nothing but love. Come on, man. Still people hate. And I appreciate. Come on, man. And Ja Rule featuring all that with fire. Dude. It's not even just the Ignition remix, which is the best single on this album. Because. Don't lie. Don't lie. Say what you say about R. Kelly, but if you hear Ignition in the, the remix in the middle of a club, you going to be dancing. Uh, but even the even the bass version of Ignition is fire, man. Even the bass version of it. You know what I'm saying? And even both versions of Step in the Name of Love. Also fire. It don't matter if it's the regular version or the remix, man. It had all the grown folks getting out there. Step, step. Side to side, round and round, dip it now, separate, bring it back, and let it see you do the love. So like, come on, man. Come on, man. The filler in this was too good. Shoot, even the beginning track, which is the title track, that. Come on, man. Give R. Kelly a do. Feel how you feel about him. He, he one of them ones, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect him personally, but professionally, he's a legend in the R&B game, man. Give, give R. Kelly his just due. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, Dream Girl is another song I really like too, because it's the song before the two ignitions, man. That that song is fire too. But anyway, and this is the obvious number one because this album made your boy a hip hop fan. Because my brothers got this on bootleg and put it in a boombox. And it was timeless. Get Rich or Die Trying, 50 Cent. What what other album would I put here? Now, granted, I didn't want to put Beg for Mercy or the r and b collection on here. Because I felt like that wouldn't be fair to the other artists on this list if, if R. Kelly and 50 Cent have two entries. Because... The G Unit album, like, it's underneath Fifty's name because Fifty is the leader of the group, and I feel like he would have gotten two entries in R the R and R B collection for the original uh, original stuff that's on there. It definitely deserves his flowers, but I would be putting R Kelly on here twice, and I feel like that wouldn't be fair. You know what I'm saying? But let's get right into this bad boy, man. From start to finish, from What Up Gangsta to 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 In the Club to You Not Like Me. To, to, to 21 questions and dog dog in my opinion the best single on this is many men bro many men many men wish death upon me blood in my dog and i can't see i'm trying to be what i'm destined to be and niggas trying to take my life away. come on man timeless bop timeless bop bro think 50 had to get shot nine times before this album came out. And he took a lot of the filler that was on the unreleased power of a dollar and put it on here like Heat, Fire, 
And the most underrated song on here is If I Can't Do It, Homie, It Can't Be Done. Come on, man. And the, the this track that ended Ja Rule's career is on this album. The diss track that ended Ja's career is on this album. For real, for real. It's back down that. Easy to see when you look at me. The 50 though. Back down. Come on, man. Wankster is on here. Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. Come on, man. This album is a classic. I don't know what you heard about me. But if you can't get a dollar out of me, come on, man. Come on, man. This album is a classic, dude. Um, and then like patiently waiting with him and Eminem is also fire. But yeah, man, Fifty Cent gets your die trying. Definitely like my favorite hip hop album of all time. My favorite rap album of all time, hands down. Cause like you could do anything productive, you know what I'm saying, and like work to this album. You know what I'm saying. You could lift weights to this album. You could run on a treadmill. Be at work listening to this album, man. You just go after it, bro. Because the storyline behind this album will make you want to chase your bag, bro. For real. But anyway, that's it for this list, man. I hope you guys appreciate it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you don't enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, man. And see you all next time for when I do the top R&B and hip-hop albums of 2004. Until then, take care, y'all. Deuces.